Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be talking about an intensifying weather pattern that will be impacting the United States over the next several days limiting the severe weather potential increasing the heat wave and bringing no rain to some parts of the United States. I'll give you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today. We'll first begin with the Central Plains which is where we've been seeing a lot of severe weather over the past week especially in the high plains that's where we've been seeing some convection but you'll notice today it's not a whole lot today we don't really have any organized setups we don't have that dry line setup that we had the past few days that brought that threat of damaging winds large hail and tornadoes yesterday in particular we saw some massive discrete sails back over in west texas that brought massive hail upwards of three inch diameter hail and a few tornadoes but obviously that is now winding down and we're really not going to be seeing a whole lot across the great plains over the next several days other than just some sporadic storm activity today will basically be the last day of any significant severe weather and even today it's not going to be very significant now back down in the southeast united states something we'll talk about a bit more in just a second we did have tropical storm arlene actually form and i mentioned this in our previous forecast we talked all about it it did end up becoming a weak tropical storm it's now back down to a tropical depression and it's moving towards cuba it still might bring some impacts to florida but overall not too concerning there and then we do have a low end risk for some severe storms this afternoon across areas in the Ohio Valley believe it or not and there has been some rain in the Midwest over the past 24 to 48 hours just from a very weak disturbance we've actually seen some rain up there so some really good news there because there has not been much at all recently now a quick little note on the tropical storm that is now down to a tropical depression this is tropical depression Arlene you'll notice it's actually still spinning like as if it is a tropical storm but the thing is the shear has ripped off all the higher up clouds like all the cumulus clouds are basically ripped off by the shear so we really do not have any sort of convection with this and the wind speeds also are fairly weak so this is no longer a tropical storm it's now a tropical depression it'll likely be a remnant low by sometime tonight now for the next several days we have a fairly interesting weather pattern across the united states we talked about a lot of this a few days ago in our recent forecast there's a big block or wall in the central and northern united states this is essentially a big wall that is keeping most areas dry and as well as much warmer you'll notice there are a couple of areas though with low pressure systems we do have one back over in the north Northeast. we have another very weak one back over in the southwest united states but that block is just going to stay there throughout the week you'll notice this going into tuesday into wednesday high pressure system is just going to sit there it's a very stagnant pattern back in the southwest united states that's where we have a low pressure system in the upper levels and by the way this is the jet stream and if we can get a trough ejection sometime later this week this could bring some significant severe weather again to maybe the high plains or anywhere in the great plains in fact and then we have another low pressure system back up in the northeast so many areas to watch but the thing is we're just going to have this massive ridge in the central united states and this is really not going to move anytime soon this is going into thursday we still have a massive ridge we have a low pressure system in the southwest united states which in this case this will basically not be able to get to the central united states if that ridge does stay strong enough which there is a chance it does not stay strong enough but again for right now it seems very likely that that ridge will really prevent most severe weather action you'll notice going into friday and saturday of this next weekend so not this this weekend but next weekend that is when things might start to change a bit you'll notice the high pressure systems way back up into here we have a low pressure system fairly weak but it might kind of undercut that high pressure system that could make some things interesting especially in the southern and central plains so we might start to see some changes to the forecast as we go closer to mid-june but again we still have a very very stagnant pattern with that omega block pattern that we've seen for several weeks now and it just does not seem like it's going away really anytime soon but it might go away next weekend we have some hope because obviously there are some drought situations beginning to increase in the United States. Now, I mentioned the massive wall that we have in the United States. That is really that heat that we're talking about. So there's a lot of heat across areas from the northern plains back through the Midwest and into the southeast. That is all going to represent above average temperatures, and this is going to continue all the way through midweek until we might get a little low pressure system back up into New England, and it might actually spin some colder air down into areas like New England as well as into the Ohio Valley. That might start to make areas in the southeast as well drop off just a little bit in terms of temperature because this upcoming week some areas are expected to get into the 90s we might start to see that drop down just a little bit maybe into the upper or mid 80s once we go into next weekend things stay fairly warm across the united states there's a chance for a little backdoor low pressure system in the midwest if this is able to happen we could see some showers and storms push from the north to the south out of canada into areas like the midwest next weekend but again things are fairly uncertain right now on that end since we're still about seven days out from there now for the temperatures in terms of the actual temperatures that we're talking about this is going to sunday 
you'll notice areas down in the southeast like mississippi and alabama in the low to mid 90s and this is going to be a continuing trend we're just going to see a lot of warm air down there this is tuesday a little bit cooler but still in the low 90s so very warm and eventually going into wednesday into thursday this just continues by thursday is probably be one of the warmest days southern georgia could get into the mid to upper 90s in some areas low 100s not expected at this time into friday similar story areas in the southern plains also to warm up and then eventually going into the next weekend that's when things could cool down in the midwest into the 70s but again things are a little bit uncertain as of right now for the future radar across the united states we'll be watching for showers and storms to continue across the great plains over the next several days most of this activity will remain sporadic meaning very isolated to maybe widely scattered activity and as we head into tuesday things will dry out a bit across the united states you'll notice in the midwest fairly dry pretty much what it has been for a long time now and then back down the southern plain showers and storms will continue but again no organized setups here across the country which again that's kind of going to be the pattern for the next 7 to 14 days unless we start to get some trough injections going you'll notice going into next weekend there is a chance for a more organized setup maybe some severe weather but again things are still very uncertain i cannot stress that enough past really anywhere past friday so we'll be watching it closely but one thing that's a bit more certain is that temperatures will be below average in parts of the united states as we head into the second week of june this is from thursday into next monday so overall cooler weather is expected for a large chunk of the country especially the northeast and as well as areas into the southwest united states the high plains that have been seeing severe weather and we could also see that pattern increase into cooler temperatures as well for a much larger chunk of the country back into areas in the mississippi valley so some good news there for the past seven days this is the observed precipitation anywhere that is not in white has seen rainfall in the united states and then really the most rainfall has been areas in the mid-atlantic back through the great plains and as well as the southeast but you'll notice pretty big hole in the northeast and as well as the midwest and that is just going to continue this is the seven day forecast from the weather prediction center midwest probably going to stay mostly dry you might see some showers but nothing too crazy and then overall the great plains is going to see more rainfall that'll come from more severe weather chances as well speaking of severe weather we do have a chance for severe weather today there are a couple marginal risks down in the southern plains that is primarily from large hail and damaging winds tornado risk is near zero for today now for the storm and activity today there will be showers and storms forming as early as right now when you're watching this forecast for areas in eastern oklahoma and northeast texas and then another area back down in the hill country of texas this will primarily be all comprised of damaging winds and hail we'll see outflow boundaries so storm activity is likely across a large chunk of texas including north texas and eventually by the evening and overnight hours those storms do start to weaken another chance for storms tomorrow we might see a small marginal risk of severe weather depending on if there is enough of those low level winds to be able to help maybe create some stronger updrafts as well upper level winds would be needed we'll have to wait and see on that for tomorrow very low end risk for severe weather in the southeast and then going into monday there is currently no risk of severe weather across the country thank you so much for watching make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already this forecast is brought to you by plot of contracting